Hello and welcome to this I Teach Stamping video tutorial. Today we are going to use a ton of stamps to get a really cool effect. So we're going to use four different stamp sets and I know that's usually not my style. However, I think you'll you'll understand why. So we're going to use the ornament from Delightful Decorations. We're going to use the ant from Bugs and Kisses. We're going to use a word out of this new awesome set. I love this one. It's called Fabulous Phrases. And then we're going to use one of the outline punches from Perfect Punches. All right, so a whole lot of stamps today. So what we're going to do is turn this ornament into a strawberry. So the first thing we're going to do is on some Whisper White cardstock, we're going to ink up the ornament and stamp it. And this is in our real red ink. I'm going to use the ornament punch, slide it in, and punch it out. All right. So then we're going to use some garden green cardstock with our five ooh, with our five petal flower punch. So I just slide this in and punch it out. Now, the other day I was showing you how to use your paper trimmer with a bone folder to do your scoring, and we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to just score across two of the petals. So you just want to line up this point and this point of the flower into the cutting well on your paper trimmer. Take your bone folder and go right across. And then you're just going to fold it in half, and I recommend using a little bit of snail to hold it down. Okay, so now we have our ornaments that we're going to turn into strawberries, and we have our leaves. To build our strawberries, all we want to do is put some snail adhesive at the top of our ornament, and then take our folded five petal flower and lay it over the top. Then on the back side, we're going to put some adhesive. And we're just going to take a little strip of garden green. So I'm just going to oops, trim this off a little bit. And then just tuck this right behind. And so then we have our strawberries. So I'm going to take my real red cardstock and my strawberries. I'm going to put a dimensional behind them. And then peel that part off. And these are just going on to some real red. Look how cute that is. All right. So then we're going to put this on to some Whisper White. cardstock. And then I decided it needed some words to go with it. So I'm going to take my white paper that I used before and then this is the stamp from the Perfect Punches stamp set. And I'm just going to stamp that. Then I'm going to take the words from uh, Favorite Phrases. Fabulous Phrases, sorry. And I'm going to I'm going to do it upside down, so I'm looking at the top of the word, because I just want it right there. Okay, so then I'm going to take my punch, and this is our round tab punch. See how that stamp was designed to perfectly fit in that punch? Punch it out. Flip it over. And I could have wrapped it around this red cardstock, but I wanted to a little bit more of the white to show. So I'm just going to close it up and then put some adhesive on the back and just kind of slide it underneath my strawberries. So then I'm going to take my ant because then I started thinking that this was kind of like a picnic. And so I'm going to have the ants going towards my strawberries. I just thought it was a cute touch. 
So I'm going to add some snail to the back. And layer it onto my basic black. And then I want to be able to write in my card. So I'm going to take a piece of white cardstock. I'm going to take my cute little ant again. And I'm going to make a little border across the bottom. And then about an inch in each corner, inch in the middle. I'm ready to put that onto the front of my or the inside of my card. So now I have a cute little strawberry card made out of Christmas ornaments and then the cute little ants across the bottom. So I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. You can find all the supplies used to make this card listed on my website at iteachstamping.com. They'll be listed right below this video. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section. And remember, I don't just sell rubber stamps, I teach you how to use them. Have a great day.